Hi there, in this video I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of Thrive Theme Builder. You will see how fast it is to get your website up and running and how you can easily customize every single detail on your site. Sounds good? Let's get started. So first of all, this is the Thrive Product Manager and you can see that I have Shapeshift ready to use. Then this means that when I go into Appearances Themes, I will see the Thrive Theme Builder as my active theme. The moment that you installed Shapeshift and the Thrive Theme Builder, you will see here in your Thrive Dashboard, Thrive Theme Builder. This is what you'll see if you click on the Thrive Theme Builder for the first time, the Site Setup Wizard. We made the Site Setup Wizard so that you could very quickly go from non-existent website to fully functional website because let me show you the front end of the site right now this is what it looks like at the moment without having gone through the site setup wizard now what we will do is we will make some choices on how we want the overall website to look and you'll notice it is super quick so let's get started First of all, you will choose your logo for your website. When you click on here, it will open the media library and then you can upload or select your logo. From there, we'll set a brand color. This can be any color you like and this will be the main color on your website. Let's go ahead and change this to something orangey. Now it's time to choose your header. As you can see from this quick tip, you can either use your arrow keys or you can use this menu to see the different header designs. In Thrive Theme Builder, you can design everything yourself, but the good thing is that you don't have to because we already did the heavy lifting for you. As you can see, we have a ton of header designs that you can choose from. Now, what I suggest is going through those designs and then look at the one that resembles most what you are looking for. Do you want your logo on the left? Do you want your logo in the middle? Are you looking to have a double header? Do you want a mega menu? Do you want social? media buttons a phone number and so on take your time and select the header that is closest to what you are going for right now as you can see the selected header will immediately use the logo that you uploaded so that you already get an idea of what this will really look on your website now don't sweat the details for the moment we're trying to get the overall look of our website set up so continue and let's select a footer. Again, you can have a ton of links in your footer. You can have opt-in forms, contact forms, anything you want and pre-designed for you. Or you can go for something really simple. It's all up to you. Next up is the homepage. You have three options. You can choose from our pre-designed homepages. You can use one of your existing pages or you can display your blog page as your homepage. Most likely you'll want to select one of the ready-made homepages. And again, we have different templates depending on the needs of your business. So we have local business focused, service business focused, contact focused homepages. Just go through it and select the one that you think fits your business best. And the way we created these designs is that we analyzed best practices for each one of these business types. So when you load one of these homepages, you can rest assured that you will be using best practices to get a high converting website. Now, as you can see, this template automatically took the color that you selected in your brand color. And not just the color, but actually, as you can see, even this gradient is adapted to the color that you picked. So that is our proprietary smart colors technology that we use in Thrive Theme Builder, which will make it super, super quick to get that nicely designed website up and running. Next up, you'll choose your blog post design. So how do you want your blog post to look like? You can again choose from a selection of pre-made templates. So do you want a full width featured image or do you rather have this split up on your website? Now it's time to decide what your blog page will look like. Do you want a list layout? Do you want a grid layout? 
How about a masonry layout? It really is up to you. And then the last layout decision is about your default pages. And by now, I think you know what I will be saying. If you click on this, you will get a whole bunch of pre-designed page templates ready for you to choose from. If you use the WordPress menus instead of custom menus, then the last step here is to select your menu. Now this is where the site setup wizard usually stops unless you have WooCommerce installed. So let me show you what that website looks like right now, right after just a few minutes going through the site setup wizard. As you can see, our website has this nicely designed homepage that we will be able to customize. And we also have our blog page with our one post that's currently on the website. And this is using the template that we picked. Now, this might not look super impressive because we don't have content yet, but there are a few things that I want to point out. First of all, these icons in the header that we selected are already connected. And same here with our privacy policy. This link is already linked up. And here you can see that we have the name from the website. How is that possible? How did we get all of that already set up on our website? Well, that is done through smart sites. When you go to the Thrive dashboard, you will see that you have this card that says smart site. And from here, you will be able to add global fields. And these global fields will be used throughout your theme, which makes it super easy and fast to keep your website up to date. If you change your phone number, for example, you don't have to go through every page where you used your phone number. You can just change it in one spot. And this smart site setup and the global fields is one of the other features that makes Thrive Theme Builder so unique and makes it super fast to create and keep your website up to date. Now, if you are planning on making a WooCommerce website, you can see that you can choose a specific header, footer, homepage for your shop, and that then you will also be able to choose from the pre-designed templates for your single product, your cart and your checkout. Now, I'm not going to go through this part in the walkthrough because we have a complete tutorial on how to set up your WooCommerce site. Now, as you can see, it was super fast to get the structure of the website up and running. And this is a completely functional website but probably you will want to tweak some things because if not, you wouldn't be choosing for a fully customizable theme such as Thrive Theme Builder. In order to make the rest of the walkthrough a little bit more interesting visually, I'm going to add some pages and some blog posts and then we will be able to tweak our designs. Now that I created a couple of pages, let's go into appearances, menus and add these pages to our header menu. Now let's go to our theme builder and start tweaking. In the branding tab, you will be able to change your theme colors, to add your favicon and to add a dark and a light version of your logo. This can be useful is if you use a dark backgrounds and you want your logo to stand out. Automatically, Thrive Theme Builder will use the light version of this logo. Then the next tab is about typography. So here you can easily change the fonts of your site. You can go into edit, which opens up the visual editor for all of the text on your website. So let's say you want to change all of your header fonts, click on one of them, use the breadcrumbs to go to all headings, and then you can change the font from here. You can choose from Google Fonts or you can upload a custom font. Out of the box, we already prepared your fonts for smaller screens such as tablet and mobile. So for example, you can see that this H1 is only 28 pixels on mobile, where it is 40 pixel on desktop. If you want to change this everywhere on your website, here is the ideal place to do so. Once you're happy, just save your work and close the tab. 
And as you can see, this preview got updated with your new font. Next up is the most important tab in Thrive Theme Builder, the Templates tab. Here you can see that we have templates for single content. This is the template for your blog posts and your pages. And then we have templates for lists. So lists are your default blog, so your blog list page and your archive pages. Archive pages are the pages that are automatically created by WordPress for categories, tags, authors and so on. And of course, you can change every single one and you can start tweaking from here. Now, if you're not entirely sure how to get started, you can also go from the front end of your website. So let's go back to our site. As you can see now, we have our menu with our different pages. And when you click on one of the pages, you'll recognize the template that we selected during the site setup wizard. But you will want to make some tweaks to this template. For example, you want to make sure that this sidebar widget reflects exactly what you want to show your visitors and the same with this message. So you can either go to the Team Builder blog list template and click on the edit button or you can simply from the front end click on this edit the theme template. Now each theme template exists out of different sections, six different sections to be exact. The header, the footer, the top section, the content section, the bottom section and the sidebar. And each of this section can be hidden or shown and has templates available for the different sections. So let's say that in the end, you don't really want a sidebar. Let's just hide this sidebar. And in the top section, you decide that you actually wanted something different as the design for your top section. So let's click on the top section. And here you can choose from a whole bunch of ready-made designs. Because this is our blog list, let's pick a template that has a search element on there. Now, of course, everything is click to edit. So maybe you don't want to use your company name here. And then let's change this tagline. And we can change this cover image. And you can do this for every section on this template. So if you want to change the blog list, for example, you want to have more um, columns, you can simply do that. And here we have a subscribe form, so you can edit this or maybe you don't want to show this bottom section. Again, you have all the pre-made designs, but yeah, maybe you just don't want to show this bottom section and you immediately want to have your footer. All of that is possible. Now, this just became your new blog page. Let me show you how this works for individual blog posts. As you probably recognize, this is the blog post design that we chose from our site setup wizard. But let's imagine that you actually want to have a sidebar or that you don't want this author uh, section at the end of your posts. Then what you can do is simply click on the edit with Thrive. Now here you'll see two options, edit the theme template. So that is with Thrive Theme Builder or edit with Thrive Architect. And in this case, this is Thrive Architect Lite, which is included in the Thrive Theme Builder. And this will allow you to create the content of your blog post. So everything that you see here, the content of the blog post is created with Thrive Architect. But if you want to change something on your blog template, you'll want to use your Thrive theme builder. So let's say that on your blog post, you want to show a sidebar, you can just hover over this section, and then click the show sidebar. And maybe we don't want to have this author section. So you can simply delete it from your templates. Now this means that you deleted the author section from every blog post on your website, because you delete it from the team template. So this will reflect on all of the blog posts. Everything that you do in Thrive Team Builder will reflect on the template and not on the content of your site. Now, in exactly the same fashion as for the list template that we looked at, you can click on a section 
and then choose a new design. So here maybe we want to have an author focused sidebar which will automatically load our author description and now maybe you don't want to show your categories here in which case you can just delete the content from your sidebar. Now let's save this. And that's it. That is how easy it is to edit the different templates with Thrive Team Builder. Now that we edited the blog list and the individual blog posts to look exactly the way you want them to, let's have a look at the home page. So on the home page, just click on the edit with Thrive Architect button. And from here, you'll be able to edit everything on this page. Simply click on it and then look into the sidebar for the different options. Now, one other super big advantage of using Thrive Theme Builder is that you get access to the Shapeshift blocks. So for example, here on this home page, you can see that you have these blue plus buttons. When you click on this, you will see over a hundred different blocks that are already designed so that you can simply click on them and load them onto your page. This makes it extremely fast to have a well-designed website and you will be able to use these blocks on your homepage, but you will also be able to use this for your about page and your contact page and so on. Now on top of the blocks, you can always use the elements here in Drive Architect Lite. You will see a whole range of different elements. So let's say you want an image, simply drag the element on the page. and edit it the way you want it to. Now I'm only just scratching the surface with how flexible and how customizable Thrive Theme Builder is, but there are a few more things that I wanna show you in this walkthrough. First of all, I wanna show you how easy it is to integrate your Thrive Theme Builder team with other tools. So here you have the API connections and you will be able to connect your website with a ton of different connections such as email marketing services, webinar services, social profiles, and so on. We also made it super easy to add analytics and scripts to your website because of course you want to see how many people come to your site. So adding things like Google Analytics or a Facebook pixel is super easy. Just click on the add new, add your script here and it will automatically be added to all the pages on your website exactly where you want it to go. And then once your website is created and ready to go, there is one last thing that you can do in Thrive Team Builder and that is going to the Site Speed tab. From here, you can add with one click a caching solution and you can add image optimization to your website. These features will make sure that your website loads as quickly as possible. Now I hope you like this quick walkthrough and that you can see how fast and how easy it is to get the website that you really want. So go ahead, click the buy button now and start building your unique WordPress website.